What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I'm going to show you how to delete or get rid of the system data in here on your iPhone storage which is a lot of useless space being eaten up in here by your iPhone device. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to delete temporarily files in here because system data is nothing much but simply cache files or logs which are temporarily files being saved into your device by different applications. So what it does, for example, I'm going to try to explain every time you open up IG, for example, let me quickly open up Instagram in here and then I simply hop into my profile. This is a profile picture which will not change for the next seven days. It's something that I'm constantly viewing or trying to reach out to every time I open up IG. So what IG does in order to save you some data, internet data in this case, it stores this picture in here, downloaded in your device in a specific folder. So every time you open up IG, it doesn't re-download it from the internet. It saves up space by simply fetching up these images from your local space in there. The same thing happens with Facebook, with apps like Snapchat, and many other apps as well. So I'm going to show you how to clear up that system data and get rid of these temporarily files in here from a few common applications that usually eat up a lot of space in here, so you can free up a lot of space. You might be in a situation where you might be having much more system data here being eaten up. For example, I've gotten here this screenshot from some one which has around 82 gigs being eaten up in here by system data itself. This is so annoying so it's important to actually clear it a bit. Of course mine is just one gigabyte but I'm gonna show it to you in today's video. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend you guys to do is to actually uninstall useless apps that come in built in with your iPhone itself. For example if you still have these apps right here like home or books or iTunes store or this little utilities. Okay here everything is useful of course but you may be having in here some useless apps which come already installed here with your iPhone device. You want to get rid of those for example free form tips stuff that you do not really need you want to get rid of those because they might be occupying some space on your iPhone device. Next up a common app that eats up a lot of space is Safari so you want to hop into your settings in here you want to scroll down and tap here on apps and then scroll down once again all the way to the letter S and then tap here on Safari to open up Safari settings right now alternatively if you're unable to hop in here from the settings you can also tap on search in here and then simply search for Safari application in here and then tap on apps to open up these settings so over here you want to scroll down all the way to advanced down here you want to tap on advanced and then you want to tap here on website data so over here you'll be able to see a lot of actually data which is being stored by websites that in most cases you won't even access them again so you do not need to have it stored in here as you can see i have google.com eating up around 90 megabytes which is a lot if i combine this with the other apps this is going to sum up and add up to a lot more space so what i would recommend you guys to do is tap on remove all website data tap on remove now and do not worry because this is something that will always be downloaded as soon as you reopen that specific website so no problem at all in deleting those files. Next up, I want you to go back and then tap here on clear history and website data. Simply select all history and then simply tap on clear history to clear all those websites you've actually visited which are actually stored here as a history website for you to re-access it quickly right you do not need it you know that google.com is just google.com so you do not need to have the history there on your iphone device now next up i would recommend you guys to hop into messages in here on settings okay by simply going down tap on apps again go all the way to the letter m okay so once you find messages tap once on the settings of the app scroll down and then simply tap here down on keep messages so under keep messages tab you want to tap once on it and then simply change this to 30 days or a year but you just don't want to keep it on forever otherwise all those messages that you've received 10 years ago or five years ago are still being stored here on your iphone devices and in most cases these are advertisements or messages from your cellular carrier telling you that your data has expired or something like that so you want to keep it to one year 
there, which is pretty good, or 30 days. So those messages automatically get deleted so you can get rid of them real quick. Now, if none of this actually helped out a lot, we're moving into the common apps that eat up a lot of cash as well. So you wanna hop here into settings real quick, general, and then tap on iPhone storage. And you wanna see the common apps, which are Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. These are apps that eat up a lot of space. Even music itself eats up a lot of space. So all you need to do is simply hop into Instagram, for example, tap here on offload to offload the app, and then tap on reload to re-download that specific app. What it's gonna do is it's gonna delete all the documents and data, which is in some cases related to the system data. These are nothing but cache files which are temporarily stored here within your iPhone device. So you want to delete those and simply have the main storage of the Instagram application eating up space in here. For example, if you see here, you do have the app size of IG, which only occupies 500 megabytes, but the documents and data are occupying around one gigabyte of storage, which is a lot and useless data. You want to do the same here with Facebook. As you can see, we do have 300 megabytes here only being eaten up by the app itself and then documents and data occupying over one gigabyte of storage. So you want to perform this for the common apps in here. Tap on it, tap on offload app, reload, or if you want to take it to the next level and really free up some space, simply tap on delete app, open up the app store and simply re-download that specific application. Now, another thing I would recommend you guys to do as well is to open up the messages application down here. As you can see, I do have my messages app in here. And then you want to tap on these three lines in here and simply tap here on recently deleted. So over here, you do have a lot of messages that you've deleted, but you might be thinking that they were permanently deleted while not. So you wanna double check them, simply select all of these messages in here, okay? And then simply tap here on delete messages. As you can see, I've selected, for example, four sources in here or four senders, and just these four senders have actually sent me 814 messages. This is a lot of messages which are actually in the deleted folder, okay? In the recently deleted, which is something that I don't need, but it still occupies a lot of space. So getting rid of these messages in here also helps out a lot and will help you out getting rid of this system data which keeps on occupying a lot of space here on your iPhone device. Now last but not least I would recommend you guys to do after cleaning up your entire iPhone to perform a forced restart in here so you can actually calibrate everything here on your phone so the iPhone storage gets updated. Now, if you do have an iPhone 8 or later models, like I've got in here an iPhone 16 Pro, if you've got an iPhone 11, X, 12, 13, all the way to 17, in order to perform a forced restart, the process is the following. Simply rapidly tap on volume up and then down and then press and hold the power button in here. This is how it goes. One, two, press and hold the power button. Keep on pressing it, do not release is it okay keep on pressing the power button and your phone will start rebooting immediately keep on pressing the power button once you see the apple logo release that key and let your phone turn on normally so basically what this is going to do it's going to restart your device from scratch and cut all the power supply from the motherboard and feed up as if it has restarted from a deep sleep this is so useful and it's going to help you out in here recalibrating all settings and everything that you've done on your phone once in a while i recommend doing this it's very useful let me quickly unlock my phone and there we go next up you want to hop into your iphone settings and check out your iphone storage to see if you've gotten rid of a lot of space now if you do have for example an iphone 7 or 7 plus the process is the following you're going to press and hold the volume down key along with the power key in here press and hold them for 7 to 10 seconds until you see the apple logo release the keys combination and let your phone turn on now if you do have an iphone like an iphone 6 with the physical home button down here you want to press and hold the physical home button along with the power button in here press and hold both of the buttons until you see the apple logo and then release the keys combination now if you do have a pretty old iphone device like an iphone 5 or 4 please note that the physical button in here to turn on is located here at the top so what you want to do is simply press and hold the physical home button here along with the button at the top press and hold both of them continuously until you see the apple logo and then release them to 
to turn them on. This is how you can force restart much older iPhone devices. So this was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video, and let me know down in the comment section down below if you do have any questions or doubt. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shack till the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.